Now when she called my fat ass out here, some of y'all act like you didn't want to give it up for me. I don't play that bullshit. I got on my best motherfucking outfit. I'm going to introduce my goddamn self. And y'all going to act like a bitch is here tonight. Y'all playing with the wrong motherfucker. Baton Rouge, get on your motherfucking feet and give it up for Mo Classy, Mo Sassy, Mo to make a bitch feel welcome. God damn it, and every fat bitch in here should have got up out this seat. I know you're gonna be a little tired, but every fat bitch in here should have got the fuck up and welcomed my fat ass to the stage. Y'all worried about these skinny bitches looking at you. Fuck these skinny bitches. Fuck your anorexic, bulimic motherfuckers. Fuck you skinny. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Look at him shaking, bitch, cause you hungry! Fuck them. Big women, it's our motherfucking time. How you doing, sister? You look fabulous, goddammit. Fuck these skinny bitches. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Big women, it's our goddamn time. Fuck that. And they told me I couldn't be a star. Shit. They got my fat ass on TV every Monday night chasing that motherfucking professor. Hey, Professor Ogilvy! When I catch his ass, I'ma fuck the shit out of him. A, B, C, D, E, F, G! <laughs> Woo, shit! Big women, handle your shit. Handle your shit. Walk with your motherfucking head held high. Fuck these skinny bitches. You know what, big women, I'ma tell you something, too. It makes me feel good to see big girls together. That's how the fuck it's supposed to be. We should only hang with each other. Big women, you can't hang with a skinny bitch. You can't let her be your friend because she will try to fuck with your self-esteem, try to hurt your motherfucking feelings, try to make you do shit she know you can't do. Go to the mall and walk off fast. Well, go ahead then, bitch. My chest hurts, you smart motherfucker. I meet you back at the car, shit. Bring me a two-piece and a biscuit and a hot dog with everything and a pretzel and a Diet Dr. Pepper, bitch. <laughs> You know I'm trying to work on my shit. Big women handle your shit. Handle. And you know what, I'm gonna tell you something. See, at one time, at one time, skinny bitches, skinny bitches, y'all didn't think we was a threat. Y'all felt real confident with your shit because you didn't feel like a big girl could take your motherfucking man. Well, see, it's a new day. Every man in here wants to fuck a fat bitch one time, baby. And once you go fat, you never go back. You hear what the fuck I'm saying? Your skinny bitches complain when you're fucking. Oh, my leg bending, my kidney hurt, my neck hurt. Big girl be like, nigga, you ain't said nothing, nigga. You ain't said nothing, nigga. What, what, pop. Oh, I got you, nigga, I got you, nigga. What, boy, what, bring it, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Big girls handle your shit. Fuck these skinny bitches. Fuck them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and big men, big men, I feel the same way about y'all fat asses. God damn it. Fuck these muscle bound motherfuckers. Lifting all these weights and veins popping out in the goddamn neck. They're gonna fuck around and shrink their dicks up. Fuck them. You keep on being fat. I just can't fuck with your fat ass. It's too much, it's too much. Oh shit! Two fat motherfuckers cannot. I have tried to fuck a fat man, it's too much work. Mm. Both of y'all fat asses laying there, you looking for his shit, he trying to find your shit, y'all breathing and sweating. Oh, 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 fuck it, let's go get a fish sandwich, nigga shit. My legs hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Handle your shit. But you know what I'm most proud of, baby? I'm most proud of just being a black woman. You hear what I'm saying? Because black women got some shit with them that can't nobody fuck with. 
If you look around in here, every sister you see is gorgeous from the top of her head to the bottom of her motherfucking feet because we don't worry about shit. We have a motto about life. Black women don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck about, we don't give a fuck. Girl, you're going to work tomorrow. Girl, fuck that job. <laughs> How your kids doing? Girl, fuck them kids, yeah. Black women don't give a fuck. That's what makes us so special. And see, black men, y'all know that. That's how come brothers know there's a fine line you don't cross with a black woman because we don't give a fuck. We will fuck up your livelihood. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. Now, see, I'm going to tell you something, sisters. By us not giving a fuck, that's why we always lonely and single by our goddamn self because we don't give a fuck. <laughs> and that nigga scared. He's scared of you. You got that nigga scared. His boy come over. He be like, man, don't, don't say nothing to her. Don't let her go, let her go, man, shit. <laughs> and see, sisters, we can learn from our white sisters. We can learn from our white sisters, because I'm going to tell you something. See, a white girl knows how to keep a nice house, her fancy car, and her pretty clothes, because a white woman knows when to shut the fuck up. She knows when that argument has come to a motherfucking end, she going to just keep her motherfucking mouth shut and just do her shit, not our black ass. We don't give a fuck about that house or them goddamn cars or them clothes. We gonna get the last word on your ass. We don't give a fuck. We could be in a motherfucking coma. We gonna say our shit. Look, bitch, don't you say nothing else. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, nigga, and your mother too. Shit, I don't play that bullshit. <laughs> now see, little white couple have an argument in the morning time. She going to stop that shit because she wants him to go to work and concentrate on making that money. So she going to apologize about her shit. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Peter. <laughs> and I want to say that I'm, all those things that happened was my fault and I'm sorry and have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know how I'd go And she'd kiss Peter's ass and watch him off to work Not our black ass We don't give a fuck about James going to work Making that paper And see brothers, y'all have a habit Of starting some shit in the morning time And leaving out slamming the door Like the motherfucking argument has come to an end Oh no nigga, it ain't over I'm coming to your motherfucking job Can I speak to James please? don't give a fuck baby now James and lost his job because we done been up there six times in two days to make our motherfucking point <laughs> and see we won't apologize we could be dead wrong James sit on the edge of the bed crying because he lost his job and we looking at him <laughs> you should have let me say what the fuck I had to say Black women are powerful, baby. Now, see, I will say, black women got common sense. See, a white bitch sometimes don't know when to stop. See, we know how far to go with that nigga till we, we know we're going to get fucked up. So we said, wait a minute, shit, James. <laughs> nigga, I was playing. You getting serious. And... Because, <laughs> you know, he will fuck us up from time to time. <clears throat> Come in, let me hug on you, James. Come in, let me hug you. But see, we know when to stop. See, a white bitch don't know when to call it quits. Like that crazy bitch, Lorena Bobbitt. See, that was white women's shit. She cut that boy dick off. <laughs> Why would you do that? Then she threw it upon the forest and drove the fuck away. Black women, we know better. That's our support factor. We don't give a fuck what he did. That dick ain't never, ever going a goddamn place, baby. My man could have kicked my ass and closed my right eye. And I'm standing over top of his dick with the scissors. Mm. Ooh. And it's in the morning time. Oh, Jesus! And he ain't PJ. <laughs> You ain't beat me that bad, motherfucker. Just call me left eye. Shit. We're going to be all right, nigga. It's going to be all right. 
<laughs> Baby, I love us. Love us. But see, I'm going to tell you something, black women. We got to start taking care of our brothers. Y'all fuck around and keep buying into all these people's bullshit about being independent. I don't need no man. Fuck what you heard. Every black woman in here tonight needs a black man by her side to make it. You can't make it no other way. And for you crazy bitches sitting out there talking about, I'm independent. That's why you're here by your motherfucking self. And you brought your own independent ticket, you stupid bitch. Know your motherfucking place when it comes to your man. And money ain't got shit to do with it when it comes to your motherfucking man. I am married to what I think is the best brother on the face of this earth, and I am the breadwinner. I make all the money in my marriage. My husband doesn't work because he got a problem reading, but we're going to work with that illiterate motherfucker. He be embarrassing me and shit. Ordering shit he can't pronounce. Can I get a strawberry Dak Y? What the fuck is a Dak Y? You ignorant bitch, point toward the next time. Shit. <laughs> but he's mine, goddammit. He's mine, and I give him what he wants, when he wants it, and a bitch's own time when he say be there. Because I'm not losing that nigga over some shit I would not do, especially when it comes to that bedroom. My husband calls me the FBIA, the freakiest bitch in America, because I will give it to him however the fuck he wants it. For you women out there, oh, that's too nasty, that's too freaky. I'm not going to do that nasty shit. Well, what you won't do, another bitch will and his ass ain't coming back home. So if your man wants you to do some freaking nasty pornographic slutty whole funky bullshit, you better get with the motherfucking program. If he wants to stick his dick in your ear, lend that nigga your ear. I hear you coming, nigga, I hear you coming. <laughs> Handle your shit. Now, if his dick is small enough to go up there, you got a motherfucking problem. <laughs> now, some shit, some shit, brothers, y'all go too goddamn far. <laughs> some shit ain't natural. And I don't know what the fascination is about this nasty shit. Let me, let me pop you up in the ass. Let me stick you up in your ass. Let me fuck you in your ass. No! That is some horrible, painful shit. And if there are any homosexuals in Baton Rouge, God bless your nasty, faggot asses, because that is horrible to fuck in the butt. And every woman in here has tried that painful shit one time, and men, y'all ain't worth shit. Because y'all be trying to coach us through that painful shit. All right, now look. Look. Check this out. Check this out. I just want you to bend over and relax all your muscles. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, shit. My eyebrows burning, motherfucker. Take it out. I got some KY jelly. Put it on a biscuit, nigga. We'll eat it. That shit is, <laughs> that is some painful shit to fuck in the butt. But I like it now. <laughs> it's your breathing technique. Hey, <laughs> 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 no, your shit. Handle it. And let me tell you something, sisters. And this is despite what we want to believe, and this is for all the heterosexual brothers in here, all the hardcore brothers in here. Just like he wants to twinkle with your ass, he wants his ass twinkled with. But he nervous because he don't know what you're going to think about his bitch ass when y'all wake up in the morning time. You a faggot, nigga, you a faggot. I pumped your butt, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but every man, every man, I don't give a fuck who he is, got a little bit of bitch in him. Every man got a little twinkle of a bitch in him. And I'm going to tell you how you bring it out up. <laughs> and you got to be careful because if he ain't secure with his shit, he might bust you on your mouth or something. 
I've been fucked up a couple times, but I was persistent with my shit. Couple of these teeth ain't mine, but that's all right. That got it. <laughs> Sometimes I tickle my motherfuckers up. <laughs> but the next time y'all in bed, next time you're in bed doing your shit. That's called the slow roll. Just tell him, tell him, say, come on. Come on, lay on your stomach for me. Now he's going to get a little nervous. Look, hold up. I ain't into that faggy bullshit. I don't play that bullshit. Oh, boy, I just want to rub your neck. Stop tripping. <laughs> yeah, daddy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then you got to kiss them gently on the neck. You got to break them down. You know you got to loosen them up. <laughs> now begin to work your way down. Now when you get to the middle of his back, he going to get a little nervous again. Look, I don't know where you're going with this faggoty bullshit. Don't get fucked up in here. Turn me the fuck back over. I know, daddy, I know. <laughs> now sisters... When you get to the crack of his ass, watch him. He gonna try to hold on to his manhood, but the bitch gonna twinkle right out his ass. Give him one good kiss on that ass and watch that nigga break down. Look. Mm. Look. Mm -hmm. Look. Mm -hmm. Don't tell nobody here. Yeah. Baton Rouge, my name is...